And like that, summer is here with a Bang! I mean, technically summer doesn't start for another two months and no, this isn't summer weather, but it did get really warm really fast. Remember this? Well, some eagle-eyed viewers noticed a couple bottles in the thumbnail that weren't in the actual video. It's not true. Nobody noticed. Yes, they were there just to fill out the visual, but as is often the case, I forgot I had them and wanted to try them, which brings me to today's mini episode. This is Deep Nine Young Geneva. It's made in East Flanders, Belgium and clocks in at 35% ABV. Yes, this is from Belgium. Geneva can be made in the Netherlands, Belgium, and small parts of Germany and France. See what happens when you do research? So let's give this a shot. Very subtle floral nose. Let's taste. This has so much more character than the Genevers that I had in the previous video. This is where I give a shout out to one of my viewers who straightened me out on the terms young and old as they apply to Geneva production. That a Geneva is young or old has nothing to do with its age. Rather, it's whether it's made in the 19th century style or 16th century style. The thing that gives Genevers their mojo is malt wine, and old style Genevers have a higher percentage of malt wine than young. And to further complicate things, malt wine isn't wine at all. It's unaged whiskey particular to Geneva production with a specific flavor profile. Because new style Genevers have so little of this malt wine, uh, when I say that the Genevers I had in the other video tasted like vodka, it's because they kind of are. The less malt wine you put in these bottles, the more of a neutral taste they're going to have. This is 15% malt wine and it really shows through. More malt wine, more flavor. I'm guessing that 15% is kind of high for a young. Enough knowledge. This is Deep Nine Old Geneva, also 35%. And these corks are so cute. I didn't talk about the color of the young because there wasn't much to talk about. This, on the other hand, looks like white wine. Smells very similar to the young one, but more concentrated. The young was 15% malt wine, this is 40%, and it shows wonderful cereal grain notes, very subtle hints of juniper, but not off-putting at all. This is also aged for two years in French oak, but again, that's not what makes it old. You might say it has the most appealing characteristics of scotch and gin, but very approachable. Absolutely delightful, if a little on the sweet side. I won't be making cocktails with these because there isn't much left. Not gonna lie, probably gonna make an old fashioned out of the old, but I'll definitely be buying a bottle of each when things get back to normal. If you liked it, hit like, consider subscribing if you haven't already, and if there's something you think I should try, let me know in the comments. Stay safe, all the advice professionals, and I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.